We are on a Thursday night. It's the 29th of April. It's almost the 30th. And the 30th is a very special holiday. Oh. Yeah. It's a holy day. It's a holy day. Not okay. that all days are not holy. They are. Mm-hmm. But um, all purges knocked. Oh, say it again. Walpurgisnacht. Walpurgisnacht. Yeah. Uh, it's Walpurga's um, day, basically. That, okay. Or night, sorry. Walpurga's night. Walpurga's uh, night. And St. Walpurga was this um, uh, English saint that okay. was canonized. Uh, she went to Germany and uh, became associated with this ancient holiday, which uh, had other names, such as uh, Hexenacht. Okay. Right. The Hexenacht. witch's night is what that means. Ooh, wow. Um, so it's kind of cool. Um, you know, Walpurgisnacht or Hexenacht, uh, you know, was a celebration of spring. Oh, and yeah, that people, makes sense. People came from, you know, a variety of directions and they kind of, uh, well, according to legend, they would fly in okay. on their, uh, umbra- their um, uh, brooms. Yeah. The broomsticks, right? They, they would fly in. They the would fly in, uh, which was probably a reference to the fly ointment that they would take. Oh. Now, the fly ointment was a highly psychoactive herbal unguent that would be um, administered to the body, okay. in, to the pulse points or to the labia, in the case of mm. witches, okay. or other places, depending on any what mucus, your gender is. Any mucous membrane right? That and and the. You know, the, the broom handle um, has a certain shape, which facilitates the mm. um, introduction of certain herbal unguents. So that's the symbology there. Yes. Uh, and so the, the those unguents would contain uh, um, special compounds of the solanacea uh, alkaloid ver- uh, variety. Okay. Things like, um, you know, mandrake and henbane and wolfsbane and, and okay. various kinds of atropine and, mm. you know, containing compounds, which which caused uh, visions and delirium and hallucinations. Mm-hmm. And, and There's some deliriance in there. There were, yeah, yeah. and psych- psychedelic, psychedelic or psychoactive compounds that, that opened up um, this sort of celebration mm-hmm. uh, of them. And they, they practiced these kind of shamanic, traditional folklore, magic uh, ceremonies to commune uh, in this sort of pagan, uh, for lack of a better word, heathen or pagan mm-hmm. religion. Okay. Um, or spirituality, where they they would uh, uh, celebrate the coming of the spring, the ending of the winter, and all this mm-hmm. kind of stuff. Okay. But eventually, that became uh, other things. It sort of became a, a night of, uh, you know, casting out the spirits, the evil spirits. You know, burning a bonfire and and um, you know dressing up like um, you know in a scary way to kind of scare off the the evil spirits and and so forth. So it's morphed through the years. Okay. Uh, Walpurge Knocked is kind of not that dissimilar from what we think of as Halloween. Yeah. Okay. But it was in the spring. Okay. Different, different season. Yeah. So yeah. here we are on, on, you know, essentially what is the, the dawning of, of uh, Walpurge Knocked. Oh. Um, it's Walpurge the, it's, Knocked Eve. It's the day before, but yeah, but yeah we're kind of, yeah. here we are. Right. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Yeah. It's um, kind of fun. I wasn't aware of that. So, the, so they, they made their own witch's brew and everything. Yeah. They did. Way. And, you know, it's weird how St. Walpurga became associated with it, but, you know, that's what happened with yeah. Christianity and Catholics in general is they would take uh, um, holidays that were ancient holidays that were typically related to the sun and moon mm-hmm. uh, seasons and so forth, and then they would attach... Um, a kind of Christian theme to it, yeah. You know, yeah. and and if if they didn't have something convenient, they would attach a a saint to it, like okay. Saint Valentine's, for right. example. That's, that's a celebrity endorsement, or Saint Valentine, yeah. rather. <laughs> uh, and and uh, Walpurga was, um, you know, someone who 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 went to to Germany. I don't know a lot about her, but mm. but I know that that one of the things is that, according to legend and tradition. Her gravesite started oozing some kind of substance, huh? Okay, which healed people, and God only knows what possessed people. Yeah, pun intended. Uh-huh. Uh, to play with that ooze, if there was such a thing, sure. actually happening. Like, why would you, if you saw ooze coming out of a gravesite or gravestone, would you just think, oh, you know what, I'm going to taste that? Yeah, let's see what that. It, it probably you know. was a dare. 
I Maybe. dare you to I taste dare that. You. Do it, do it. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Uh, and then the church broke up the gravestone and started spreading it to different areas of Europe because they wanted to spread the, the healing and spread the, okay. you know, God force or whatever it is that was yeah. in the saintly stones. Okay. And okay. the rest is history, as they say. Huh. Wow. Thanks for sharing that. That's, that's really cool. I love to hear, um, you know, l- little, little corners of history that most people are not aware of. And yeah. That, that's a, one of those little corners. And, you know, it's one of those things uh, I'm sure... Uh, there are a few people who know a lot of really, really in-depth stories about it. I, I, I'm fascinated with mm. with uh, pagan traditions, as you know. Oh, sure, of course. Uh, yeah. And it goes really deep. Sometimes I hear things I've never heard before, and I'm like, where did that come from? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my, my wonderful uh, chef friend, Chef Bill, who uh-huh. we should interview on the show, actually. He's oh, yeah. an awesome chef and an awesome human being. I'm going to reach out to him. Okay, cool. Um, we had amazing conversations, and uh, he was talking about Easter one time. He said... They didn't even bother to change the name. <laughs> Just left the name the, yeah. the same as the original. That's right. Or at least one of the original names. Or I don't, I don't know quite the full history, but, but um, yeah, it's fascinating. There's another, you know, first Sunday after the first full moon after the vernal equinox. Yeah, you, know? yeah, you got to decode the ring to figure out which day Exactly. It's, mm, you know. Let's see. 